Hello everyone, my name is Doomfish, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a simple, compact honey and honeycomb farm. And so it's entirely contained within this space. This is four modules of the farm. As you can see, they take up a very small amount of space each. And the redstone out of the back is very simple and compact. And this is definitely something that I would recommend doing on your worlds as well, because getting honey allows you to get honey blocks. And you can use the honeycombs for hives, for decoration, or whatever you want. Um, so moving on to the items that you're going to need to actually make this. We have two chests, 15 hoppers, uh, 64 blocks of any kind. You might need more, you might need less. Um, four slabs, two stacks around uh, filter items. Um, these are just named filter items so they don't clog up uh, with unnecessary other items. Uh, you'll need a bunch of glass bottles, um, probably around like 16 stacks at the maximum, um, but I'm just using 64 here. Um, around 18 shears at the maximum, but again, just using one to demonstrate that. Four dispensers, four beehives, 31 redstone, two redstone torches, four redstone repeaters, six redstone comparators, 19 glass panes, 27 glass blocks, eight flowers of any kind, and 27 grass blocks. So now we can just uh, jump right into the tutorial for this thing. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is place three blocks up like this, place a high beehive placing forward like so, break the blocks beneath it, go ahead and put a temporary block to the right, put another beehive facing forward, and do this until you've placed down all four beehives. Like so. Uh, now what you want to do is head back to the left over here, place two temporary blocks, break this one right here, and put a dispenser facing into that beehive, and do the same thing here. Just break this block, put a dispenser facing in, break this block, dispenser facing in. So that if we just break this, you can see that the dispensers are facing towards the right-hand side, and they're facing into the beehive on the right, like so. Then go ahead and put another block on the right side of this beehive right here, so it should look something like this with each of the dispensers facing towards the right. Next up, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is place a temporary block um, underneath this far dispenser on the left, and place another temporary block all the way on this block on the right. Now go ahead and place some grass blocks out right here. So three blocks out here, and three blocks out here, and then just fill in this whole space with grass blocks. And then of course, once you have this down, you can break these temporary blocks, like so. And you should end up with something like this. Now, go ahead and take your flowers and put two of them in front of each of these beehives. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. And then go ahead and put some glass panes all on the rest of these grass blocks, like so. Just so we split up the areas so none of the bees get uh, confused while they're wandering. And then go ahead and put a glass roof above all of this. So, just all above all of the grass blocks we placed, like so. And then finish this out by putting some blocks of quartz on top of all of these blocks back here, just like so. So it should look something like this when you're all finished, with all of the individual cells with the beehives in them fully enclosed. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and head to the back of the machine, and on this right hive right here, go ahead and place a block down, then place five more blocks out the back, so this is five right here. Um, go ahead to the right and place one block to the right like this, one block on top of it, break that block, and then just place blocks going in towards this dispenser right here, and place a slab on the top here so we can see the bottom of this dispenser. And then on the beehive to the left of it, go ahead and sort of do the same thing, but only come out three blocks. So we go here, one, two, three, and then we go up one, break this block, place another one, and put a slab right here. And then we can sort of repeat this process. So we have one here, we place five blocks out here, uh, out up one, and do the same thing right here, and so on and so forth. All right, now what we're going to do is head back on the right beehive right here, place a comparator facing out of the back of it, go ahead and place some redstone dust coming out of the back as well, out to here, one up on this, a repeater facing into a block, with two more pieces of redstone right here. And then on this one, and every other one that's three, we're gonna go ahead and place a comparator facing out of the back here, 
and then just redstone dust all the way here. And we can sort of repeat this process. So since this one is longer, we're going to sort of mirror what we have on this side. So place redstone like that, repeater, block, dust, and same thing over here, comparator, and then just dust, like so. Now what we need to do is stop these lines from running into each other. As we can see, it's all pretty tangled up. And to do that, we're just going to head over here and place two blocks on top of these blocks right here. So one, two, forming this L shape. And then to the left here, we'll just place one block in front of this comparator, like so. And then again, make an L shape here. And then place one block in front of the comparator, like so. And all our lines have been straightened out. Now what we need to do is sort of decide um, what we want our farm to produce. So we can either set it up to produce honeycombs, which are used to make more of these beehive blocks, or we can set it up to produce honey bottles, which are used to make the honey blocks. Um, and so for the purpose of demonstration here, I'm going to show you how to do both. And these two on the right are going to be producing bottles of honey, and these two on the left are going to be producing honeycombs. So starting with the honey bottle farm, what we're going to do is head on the right side and head underneath this dispenser right here, place a temporary block right next to this comparator, so like right here, and then place a hopper facing into that block. Like so we can break that temporary block and then place another temporary block underneath here and then break it like so. So we get this set up right here. And then go ahead and place two blocks out of the back, go down one block, and place one block on this middle of the three lines. So you get a shape like this, and this is going to be our item filter. So if you've done these before, you know how this works. Place a comparator facing backwards, place redstone dust on these three blocks right here, place a repeater facing forward, and a torch right here. And we can mirror this um, in our other dispenser, which is right here. This one will also be reducing honey bottles. And you might have a little bit of a trouble um, going ahead and fitting this in here. It's a pretty tight space. Um, so we just put that right there. And you might have to break like this slab right here in order to place the comparator and maybe some of the redstone dust. But we're just going to mirror that right here. All right, now that both of our item filters are done here, what you're going to want to do is set up these filters. So on each of these hoppers, what you're going to do is head into the inventory, go ahead and place down some filter items. Like so, go ahead and place down 40 of them, so 10 in each of these spots, and then go ahead and place down two honey bottles. And go ahead and do that in the other hopper, just like so. All right, once you're done with that, go ahead and place some temporary blocks right here on the dirt blocks or on the grass blocks in front of these hoppers. Go ahead and place hoppers facing into those blocks, and then we can just break these blocks. And now we can sort of collect an output from this. So to do that, we're going to head on this left side here, go ahead and place a block, two blocks right here. So you leave a space of one block here and go ahead and put your chest down and then just face hoppers facing into that four hoppers like so. And there we go. Now our setup is pretty much complete. All we need to do is put some glass bottles in these dispensers like so, leave an empty space so that if any honey bottles do get put in here, um, they can get sorted through the item filter and end up in this chest. And just do the same thing over for this dispenser right here. All right, so now for the honeycomb farm, all we have to do is head underneath here and find the blocks underneath the beehives. So that would be this block right here and this block right here. Go ahead and place some temporary blocks below it, like so. So you can get underneath them Oop, right there. And go ahead and place a dispenser facing downwards. Break these blocks. Dispenser facing downwards, break the blocks. And then all we're going to do is continue this line of hoppers that we made earlier all the way to right here, and then place some hoppers facing below these hoppers beneath the hives right here and, oh, and right here. And there we go. Our farm is pretty much complete. Our final step is to actually get the bees in here, which can be a little bit tricky. So before we actually go and get the bees for our beehives, uh, just make sure that these dispensers on the left side here or on your honeycomb uh, farms are filled with shears and they can be filled up all the way, just like so. And again, just like that. Now for getting the bees into this farm over here, what I would recommend is constructing something like this, a much larger area so it's easier for you to get bees in here. And so you can do that just by, uh, let's say I found a couple of bees, you do that by just holding flowers in your hand, they'll follow you, 
and you can go ahead and jump in here. Or you can just put a door down, you know, if you're into that. Uh, just sneak by them real quick and block it up. And now what they're going to do is, as you can see, they're pollinating over there. And I'm just going to enter survival mode really quickly. And eventually they will go ahead and wander inside of that bee nest over there. And there we go. They all just finished pollinating. And what we can do is even in survival mode, normally if you break this, the bees are going to come out and be angry at you. But if you have a silk touch enchantment on your pickaxe, all you have to do is just go ahead and break it. We get the beehive. And we can head up. I'm just going to head into creative mode. Oops. Head into creative mode again. And this beehive right here has the bees in it still. And all you can do is just go ahead and break one of these glass blocks. And replace this beehive with one of the bees in it, just like so. And you can see, you can hear them buzzing around in there. Um, and that just means you've done it correctly. And then you just need more hives and just repeat the process. And since I'm in creative mode, I can just do this all with one beehive, but you will need four different beehives. And I would recommend having three bees in each of these is the max you can have, and the farm will be operating at maximum efficiency. All right, and there you have it, folks. A very easy, very compact honey and honeycomb farm. Um, you can change it so that all of these are producing honey bottles or all of them are producing honeycombs. Just follow the steps in the tutorial earlier. And yeah, if you found this video educational or if you enjoyed watching it, please consider leaving a like on the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.